It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we have a Brewery Hills Mosaic Double Dry Hopped New England IPA coming in at 6.4% ABV in a 500 milliliter can, fresh from Poland. And we're gonna be pairing it with Co-Fresh Jalapeno Grills flavored potato snacks. Proud to be the number one Indian snack brand and they're 80 grams of hopefully jalapeno goodness without further ado let's get the can out into a glass see what we get nice bit of smoke on the can opening beer in the glass then Look at that. What a lovely looking beer. It's a two to three finger white head, slightly hazy amber colored beer. I almost said straw colored. It's, it's close to being straw colored, but I'm gonna say amber, good levels of, of carbonation. I wanna get the rest of the can in the glass. Reason being, it's probably gonna be a hazy New England IPA. We just got to get there with the with the pour. Although I can't see it making that much of a difference at this point, the the haziness. Ah, there we go. Okay, so for a New England IPA, I'm going to be perfectly honest, I'm always as honest as I possibly can with these beer reviews, there's quite a nice amount of haziness at the top, but at the bottom, although the, it is becoming hazy, it's not as hazy as, say, probably 90% of the New England IPAs out there. This is, This has a slight haze going on. I was expecting a real kind of murky, cloudy, oaty looking New England IPA, but we don't get that today. But maybe what we don't get in the look, we get in the aroma and the taste. Uh, nice levels of carbonation, aroma. I mean, there's no, there's no shortage of hop aroma coming through here. Tropical fruit, passion fruit, mango, fleshy blood orange, a little bit of grapefruit. It smells a touch like a like a West Coast style IPA. The proof is in the tasting. Let's dive in. No, it's very good. Fair play. Fair play. An exceptional example, taste-wise, of a, of a New England IPA. It's all there. Passion fruit, mango, citrus, touch of grapefruit, fleshy blood orange. Yeah, it, it's, it really is big flavours coming through in the middle. There's a little bit of sweetness to begin with touch of bitterness on the back end. That's what I was looking for. That was my pause. That was my moment just to step back and go, because I mentioned it being, the aroma was slightly like a kind of a West Coast IPA. So I wanted to check that the bitterness wasn't kind of off the scale. Because that really would have meant it was a New England IPA. But no, uh, uh, sorry, a West Coast IPA. I'm confusing myself and you guys now. It's definitely a New England IPA. It's a touch of bitterness on the back end, sweetness to begin with, all of the flavour is in the middle. It's drinkable, it's refreshing, carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. It's 
grainy, it's malty, it's doughy. Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic example. And now I'm able to really wash that beer around in the glass. There we go. So, New England IPA. Now I've washed it round. I reckon for the next batch of this beer, maybe they put some more oats in. Or maybe they... Just look at the appearance a, a little bit compared to other New England IPAs. It, for me, it's on the light side a little bit. And that's just constructive criticism because the beer tastes fantastic. Co-fresh, here we go. Jalapeno grill. I really like my beer and food pairings. Especially when I'm left on my own... Uh, the wife's out and I've left on my own devices and I get to eat the whole pack on my own. Oh, wow. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what came to mind then straight away? Green. The, the colour green came to mind as I stuck my nose in here. Green jalapenos. Wow. Oh, they got my, my really kind of citrusy, but in a, in a chilly citrus way. Wow, really, I mean, that is just an unbelievable... I'm really kind of salivating here. Wow, the aroma of these crisps. It's just like smelling a... Or when you cut a jalapeno to put in your curry. It's like, yeah, it's like sort of smelling that. Mmm. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, not just a kind of a, oh wow, oh. they're spicy, they are spicy. Crunchy, <coughs> then zesty, peppery. Zesty again, green jalapeno, and then a real, and I mean this, a real punch of jalapeno chili spice on the back end. These are terrific, absolutely terrific. Look at that one. So we got a couple of normal ones. I feel like I'm eating the, the Doritos Russian roulette crisps where one of them's gonna blow your mind. Okay, let's do this. Mild one goes in first. Mazy, crunchy, lovely, satisfying with the beer. Still an amazing amount of spice. This, yeah, that just looks a bit venomous to me. Here we go. God, that's as, um, and you, I mean, you prepare yourself for the Samyang noodles. You, you, you kind of put yourself in a mental state that you know you're about to eat nuclear fire noodles and you need to raise your game. But these have caught me off guard. Oh, wow. They've got a real spicy kick to them. Mmm. If you like your chili crisps and you live in the UK, I mean I think they sell they sell these all over the world, look, there's all sorts of different languages on the back of the bag here. So wherever you are, maybe look for a bag of co fresh jalapeno grills, a flavoured potato snack. They are terrific really good the best food i've eaten all day mm. right do i get to lick my fingers on camera is that allowed 
Yeah, why not? It wouldn't be crisps, would it, without... Or fries. It wouldn't be crisps or fries without licking your fingers. Right, let's rate this beer. I mean, there's, there's that amount of spice on them crisps. It's, the beer's reacting with the spice and it's just burning my mouth even more. That's insane. That's insane. Oh, pardon me, blimey. Get out. And um, that's, that's insane for a bag of crisps. They're really good. Rating. I like the beer. I think it's really good. Full of flavour, lovely aroma. If I'm honest, they just need to, to just to work on the look of the beer. As I mentioned, maybe they need to get it hazier. For a New England IPA, it needs to be hazier. That would be my only criticism of the beer. Other than that, it's really good. It's really good. It's a stone the crows, nine out of 10. Nine out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. These jalapeno grills, they get a 10, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for the Cold Fresh Jalapeno Grills. Comment in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. No, hit the notification bell so you get to watch all of our videos if you want to. <laughs> cheers, Dom the Crows, cheers.